Hey Josh, how's it going today? I'm doing okay, Nathan, but I'm a little confused. Where are we? Well, it might look a little different, but it's still Coleman Dock. It's still the Seattle Ferry Terminal. All right, well, it's a dramatic transformation, one we're gonna talk about on this week's Beat Blast. Stick with us. Welcome back to this edition of the Beat Blast, sponsored by the Admiral Theater. Today, we are in Seattle at Coleman Dock, and I'm joined by Nathan Pilling, Kitsap Sun reporter. Hello, Nathan. Hey, Josh. So today what we're doing is we're showing you around because it's a big transformation down at this terminal. They've just opened the new terminal building up and Nathan's going to tell us about what this project entails and when we can see the dust finally settle. So Nathan, what did crews do on Sunday? They opened this first section of the new terminal building. It's a little cramped inside because it's only the first one-third section of what will be a much larger building. So in here there's room for about 500 people and uh, that space in there is for loading operations. Once that area fills up, folks will start to queue in a larger, uh, longer walkway that's sort of out, uh, it's covered, but it's open, open to the air. Customers are getting used to this. Customers are, are trying to navigate through the, the new building, dealing with the turnstiles for the first time, dealing with the, the new footbridges that go to First Avenue and that go to Pier 50. So there's a lot of changes for folks. We're asking passengers to be a little patient this morning and, and figure out uh, the new route through the building. But uh, there will be some, some close quarters where people are uh, loading, especially on busy game days and, and commute periods. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a sign of things to come and we're excited about finishing this project. Globally, this big project that's for a couple of years now has been going on the Seattle waterfront. What's happening? Why did they do it? And uh, what will it look like when it's all done? Sure. Well, this is certainly a long project. It's aimed to wrap up in 2023. The crews here are rebuilding the dock, making it safer uh, in case of an earthquake. And they're making the building into a new uh, modern ferry terminal for us to use. Now this is an area that I'm familiar with, Nathan. The Marion Street pedestrian crossing, the last vestiges of the Alaska Way viaduct behind us, and now there's no way to cross here. So what gives? How do I get to the ferry terminal? Well, the old Marion Street bridge has been demolished as part of the viaduct demolition project, but now there's a new connection that runs from Marion Street over across Alaskan Way and connects to the new Seattle Ferry Terminal. It's only a temporary connection though. Eventually, a new bridge will be built right here along Marion Street. Well, the Alaska Way Viaduct opened in 1953. It closed down earlier this year, and now you can drive a tunnel, SR99, right underneath us. But this whole waterfront is being re-cleared, redone, and revamped, as well as the Seattle Ferry Terminal here. Josh, we're over here at the new passenger-only facility, which is also connected to the new Coleman Dock. That's right, Nathan, and these are exciting times when it comes to passenger-only ferries. One might even think of the Mosquito Fleet ferry system that used to run all over Puget Sound. We're starting to see perhaps a resurrection of that. It starts with Kitsap Transit with the Seattle to Bremerton Ferry Service. Of course, now there are three different Rich Passage class vessels, and on September 23rd, they're going to be testing a two-boat service to see how it affects the shorelines along Rich Passage, both the Bainbridge Island and the South Kitsap side. If they're successful and there's not any damage to those shorelines, we could see two-boat service next summer. There's also something else Kitsap Transit's doing that's kind of groundbreaking. The first commercial hybrid ferry will start operating between Bremerton and Port Orchard very soon. There are modifications being made to both the Port Orchard and Bremerton docks to accommodate the Waterman Ferry. This is the first ferry that has a capacity, for, that has batteries on board, a capacity to be a hybrid. It can both operate off of batteries and fuel. It'll be starting up here this next week as well. The state, not to be missing in this whole equation, is also getting in on the hybrid ferry service. Isn't that right, Nathan? That's right. Designs are being worked up now. Construction is expected to begin later this year and take about two years before the ferry hits the water and eventually we get to ride it for the first time. The boat's expected to cost around $160 million. And finally, what's on tap for your weekend? Sponsored by Silver City Brewery Tap Room. This weekend is a celebration of small town life in Keyport. It's Keyport Fest. It runs from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Saturday, September 21st. There's lots of activities for the whole family. Bring the kids. There's also a beer garden for those 21 and up. And it goes to support many programs in Keyport. That's our show for this week. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks to our sponsors and special thanks to you who subscribe to the Kitsap Sun. We could not do this without you. 
See you next time.